Hello everybody, my name is John Ferguson, as you already know, I'm a start animator, and welcome back to 1, 2, 3, draw! Where today we draw Stingray from the RPG game We Are Alive Frontier from Geek and Sundry. Before we start, I'm liking to, I would like to apologize to everyone how the video quality will go to be. Because I can tell you for the first time, this will be a video where I horribly fail. A lot. So, this is also kind of the point of the whole one, two, three draw. During an hour, you have one hour to draw a character, which you, which either is a comment from your friends, a comment from the comment section, or something that you're inspired by yourself. But during this time, you have one hour to do the character and to do the backgrounds and all that. After that hour, you can either sign your name, you can draw uh, you can write some scriptures or some quotes, which I have done in this very case, but nothing more. That's that's my own role, which I put on to this uh, this very thing. Um, I mean, this very program. It's that during an hour, you are just allowed to draw, and no matter if you fail. And this is for me specifically, and this should be a part of you as well if you're joining me in this very situation where I, where you draw for one hour and you just draw, post it, uh, deliver it, show it, doesn't matter what you do, you need to also learn how to accept failure. That's how I, that's how I need to grow as well. I need to accept that this is not the greatest character I've, I've ever done. I've certainly done much better. But I need to also show that I can fail as well. That not all the characters that I will do will be solid. So usually when I go through this, I'm doing it in all three stages or four stages if you're counting fill-in. Uh, I'm going with an, uh, a simple sketch over the character. And then I go for a heavier pen, a normal HB pen. And I will do some minor details and focus on where everything's supposed to be, go over the skeleton, and then I will go to a heavier pen to definitely draw in some shades, some uh, eyelashes, some eyebrows, some whatever the gun is. It's an AK-47, I know, but it's not really an AK-47. And during this time as well, you pick up some uh, reference pictures if you're the one who is a reference guy or girl or person, more or less. In this case, I stressed out because I was so into the details of everything. I was into the details of the gun. I was into the details on the jacket. I was into the details on the hair. It took so long that I forgot the time. And during when it was about a few minutes left, like 10 minutes or something, I stressed out and I tried to just finish it with all the shading and all the things. And I even did, unfortunately I shouldn't have done it, I did a car in the background, which filled in for the moment, but it didn't help me during that situation. So, yeah, this is a failed, failed painting in my account, because I could have done it better, but I'm not ashamed of showing it to people, because, hey, this is how we learn. We need to do this. We need to fail to grow. That's as simple as that will ever be. But in any, any case, this is Stingray from the RPG game We Are Alive Frontier. She is played by Anjali B. Uh, I'm gonna try to say her last name as good as I can possibly say. Bimani. So, I hope, yeah, I think I, I, I think I nailed it. Woo, that's really great. So, I will just say her first name. Angeli is just play is playing Stingray, uh, and uh, Jenny, who is the railway driver in this RPG game, which I did a picture of, the first picture I ever did on this very uh, on this one two three draw situation. It's uh, Melanie Stones, and a GM for this uh, for this RPG game. You know him. You love him. Even. Brown von Norman. He is in there. He's a great DM. I love what he does for the show. And also in a separate note. Did you know that Angeli It's playing together with. Kerry Payton. Marisha Ray. 
Matthew Mercer and Travis Willingham, together with a GM, who is none other than Brian W. Foster, in Undeadwood. Both of them I gladly, gladly, without a hesitation of a doubt, recommend to watch. If you are like me, you love some, you like a bit of Western, a Western setting with monster elements, definitely have a watch. It's four episodes, there's quite long. There's about roughly under three hours. And if you're going to watch We Are Alive Frontier, you watch it over at Geek and Sundry. And they're not longer than an hour. So definitely have both of them. Have a good look at both of them. I really, really recommend it. Uh... And it's sort of nice to see other gameplays as well, and not be just stuck on D and D settings settings as well. To see some other gameplays, it doesn't mean that you have to understand them. For me, it's kind of hard uh, to a little bit to understand what how they roll the dice and how it's how turns gonna go and all that sort of things. But the more you look look at it, and the more you go into the more you go into a little bit more about how they're playing the game. And how they're explaining the game. You will get it. Quite quickly. I think this is the moment where I go into details. And my head. Uh, in the video will just block everything. Because right now. Uh, yeah not now. Look again I'm up doing a bunch of details. Just a bunch of details. And everything is just. This is where I forgot time. So yeah. In any ways. That's what I have to do. Go and watch on Deadwood over at Critical Role. And uh, uh, without a question of a doubt, if you love uh, apocalyptic themes, definitely, definitely go over and watch We Are Alive Frontier over at Geek and Sundry. But into other matters, to my own matters. Uh, and also what inspired me to do Stingray. I thought about doing her before. But Stingray is also the gunner in We Are Alive. She's a sharpshooter. And she said a quote. In the 10th episode, she said a quote. And I will read it to you in the end of this very recording. Uh, because I really, really enjoy that. And that made me go, yeah, I need to do a picture of her as soon as possible. But in any case, the few minutes I have left, I'm going to do and talk talk a little bit about... Uh, today I'm gonna play D&D, it's Wednesday, today I'm gonna play a D&D session together with my best friend, who is uh, the DM, who's called Kai, and uh, I'm playing a Furbuck Druid, uh, which is, he's uh, really fun to play, I'm t- playing together with three other characters, and we are going down uh, a mountain today to hatch an egg who needs to be boiled in, uh, well, who needs to be hatched in uh, lava. And God forbid what might come from the lava. I can only imagine that that will be really, really bad. I'm starting to finish up the character right now. And that's really good. Another thing I need to point out as well is that... Oh, it's it's done. Oh, usually I have a sign up. But you can see I'm kind of stressed. So we see one, two, three. Yeah, there she is. Gorgeous. And I will read the quote for you. No matter how many times you do something right. you got to own it when you fuck up. There you go. Another thing I want to shout out quite quick. I'll be at the Deviant Art. Uh, you can find me at black out John. And you can go in on D&D Adventures. And you can see a series that I did. A comic series that I did f- uh, for one of our plays when I play Ray Lynn. Uh, have a watch on that. Give it a like if you like it. Uh, the same with this video. If you like these sort of things uh, that I draw. Uh, give it a like. I'm not trying to overshoot the time. Uh, give it a like. Have a comment on what I should draw next. And you know what? I'll see you all next time. Keep on drawing. Bye-bye.